from the Drug and Serious Crime Group, State Crime Command. Is that alright? See how long I'm going to go It's easy testing me. It's all right? Yeah. Yesterday, detectives from the State Crime Command, Brisbane region, North Coast region, executed a number of search warrants in the Brisbane and Sunshine Coast area with the assistance from members from the Special Emergency Response Team and Dog Squad. As a result of these warrants being executed, approximately $433,000 in cash was located. 3.4 kilograms of powder, which we will be alleging is heroin, was also located with 349 ecstasy tablets and a quantity of jewellery, three motor vehicles and a street bike were also seized. A total of nine persons were charged on 14 charges. Three of those persons were kept in custody overnight and appearing before the court this morning. It's, it's, fairly con it's fairly considerate, um, considering the, uh, the amount of heroin which we have located. Heroin has not been uh, vastly available in recent years, and to have a seizure of 3.4 kilograms is a fairly unique seizure. We're in the early uh, throes of the investigation. It, um, we're still trying to uh, follow the leads as to where the, the origin of the heroin came from. As I said, we're in the early stages of the investigation. Uh, one of the male persons at the Oxley address resides in the Clounder area. Yes, at an address at Oxley, uh, we located $44,000 in, uh, in a bedroom of the house and a uh, further sum of approximately $280,000 was located by our counterfeit sniffing dog and his handler buried in the, in the uh, yard of the residence. Sorry? <laughs> it, was, it was buried under a uh, ornamental plant um, and it was excellent work. For the, uh, for the police there to locate that. The uh, money was contained in two cryovac bags. And are all of these people that have been charged linked in some way in As I said, we're, this investigation is in its infancy. Um, we are considering uh, further charges to uh, place upon some of these offenders. Are these people living you know, a high life as such? It's clear that they have some of the extra of their cars during that kind of thing. We will be alleging that uh, the cash, uh, the um, fairly modern motor vehicles, the extravagant jewellery are all proceeds of the crime. And how many um, addresses did you raid? Uh, we we uh, attended five addresses, uh, one in Oxley, uh, one at Callum Vale, uh, Sunnybank Hills, uh, Ferny Grove and Cloundra. And were they residential addresses? Four of the uh, premises were residential, one was a business address. Uh, we won't comment on the, on the type of business. Uh, one couple are in a de facto relationship. Any bikey links? There's no CMG links to this organisation at this stage that we can identify. Where will you be alleging that the drugs were destined for? We believe that the, uh, they were destined for the um, local market. Can you detail, um, I'm just interested in the Sunshine Coast. Can you tell me what was found there? Um, look, a quantity of uh, amphetamines were located there and a uh, large sum of cash was also located there. I haven't got the exact amount, but I can get that for you.
I believe that this seizure will have an impact on supply. Um, as I said, uh, amphetamine type substances have been the drug of choice um, of powder in recent times. And in, as I said, this is a fairly significant uh, seizure to take that much heroin off the streets of Brisbane. And the majority of cash. <laughs> this, inf this investigation is, is in its infancy um, and we hope to explore the uh, finer points of this, uh, of this group that have been uh, dealing in uh, powders. Sorry? Will there be other flow-on effects for the community that affects other people that are having drugs? Look, uh, heroin is a very addictive drug, um, very dangerous drug to take. I, I think that by removing this drug from the street, it will have significant um, impact on the community. It's an expensive drug, um, and the availability I believe the availability depends on on, uh, on interstate and international um, imports. Three kilos of heroin, what's that sort of street value class? Uh, we believe the street value is $1.4 million. What kind of message does it send to other drug dealers? What, what message does it send to other drug dealers out there? The message is simple. We receive a variety of information from a number of sources. We act on that information and it's only a matter of time before we're knocking on their door. Is that how this group were discovered through tip-offs? As I said, we receive a number of uh, intelligence reports, information from the public which we rely on greatly and uh, we act upon that information that we do receive. Do you expect more arrests to take place after these raids? That'll depend on uh, our further investigations. We received recent information uh, and we've acted upon that and as a result that information was correct and that's why they're before the courts. And the majority of items seized are at the um, Oxley address, is that, is that fair to say? Uh, the substantial amount of cash, uh, the heroin was located at Oxley address with two motor vehicles and a motorbike also at the address and jewellery. From, from what we've uh, located so far, they appeared very well organised. It would appear that uh, they made a lucrative uh, living from what we have uh, seized. Australian citizens or nationality? Well, uh, Well, I believe they're all Australian citizens. Just under seven grams of heroin was located at the, uh, at the address at Caloundra uh, with the uh, amphetamines, with other amphetamines. I would expect that uh, that, that uh, drug would have made its way on the Sunshine Coast streets. What are the offences that um, those people have been charged with? Uh, Sorry, what are the offences that they've been charged with just generally? Uh, produ produce and... Uh, did you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, produce and possess dangerous drugs. Heroin exceedingly scheduled. All nine people? Uh, no, sorry, three three people. Oh, sorry, four people have been in charge of that, and others have been charged with um, possession of uh, dangerous drugs. So, will you be alleging as such they had uh, you know, drug labs at these addresses? Sorry? Are you alleging that they were producing these drugs at those addresses? <laughs> um, we won't be alleging that they were producing the drugs at the premises, but. Uh, our, our early investigations would suggest that uh, they are in the cutting process at the premises um, with the heroin that, that, that had been uh, obtained. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.